Greetings humanity of planet Earth. We, are anonymous. This is a reminder on how the corrupt corporate paid governments are handling the growing coronavirus pandemic. Just over 100 years ago, in the midst of World War I, the world experienced a pandemic that killed tens of millions of people. Historians are divided on the exact number, but estimates range from 30 to 55 million people in about two years, which at that time, was around 1 to 2 percent of the world's entire population. 27 percent of the world's population was infected at some point during the outbreak. This great virus came to be known as the Spanish flu, because that is where it was thought to have originated. However, it was later discovered that the first people of this illness were soldiers from the French, British, and German armies, who were fighting on the front lines of World War I. The corrupted governments of these countries went through great lengths to hide the outbreak, so they would not reveal a strategical weakness to their enemies. During the war, at that time, Spain, on the other hand, was a neutral territory in the war, so there was not as much of a motivation for that government to hide the outbreak, so Spain, ended up being the first place where the cases were accurately reported. By the time that news of the situation in Spain reached around the world, it was too late. The virus had spread just as fast as the news did. Sadly, as the pandemic grew out of control, corrupted governments from around the world, including the corrupt corporate paid United States, did their best to limit any reports on the illness, to prevent panic, and social unrest. Many experts have compared the recent coronavirus to that of the Spanish flu. Bill Microsoft Gates have stated that humanity could be dealing with the once in a century pandemic, which could be as deadly as the virus that wiped out tens of millions of people exactly a century ago. These two illnesses are not from the same family of pathogens, but there are some important similarities between the two outbreaks and we may be making some of the same mistakes as those who came before us. In China, doctors, activists, and everyday people, have been threatened with arrest, if caught posting information about the virus that would create any alarm, or contradicts their so-called cover-up official statements, before passing away from the coronavirus himself, whistleblower Dr. Li Wenliang stated, that the corrupted Chinese government, knew that human-to-human -human transmission was taking place weeks before they told the public on what was happening. Who's become incredibly well known around the world because of the coronavirus has died. This is the Chinese doctor who tried to warn the medical community about the coronavirus. He was told to be quiet by the authorities before weeks later being diagnosed with the virus himself. Christian Anderson, an evolutionary biologist at the Scripps Research Institute, estimated that the virus could have infected its first victim as far back as October 1, 2019, based on a study of 27 genomes from early patients. This can only mean, that the virus was spreading all over Wuhan, and the rest of our world, for the past few months. If this research is correct, that means, that this virus had likely made its way to almost every corner of our world, way before the time. The corrupt Chinese government decided to shut down Wuhan. This type of silent spread is possible, due to the massive incubation period of the virus. Some studies have suggested, that the time of incubation for this new virus, could be up to 24, or even 27, days. Meaning, that an infected person, could be walking around for a month, infecting others, without even knowing that they are sick which greatly increases the pathogen's ability to spread, undetected. Compare this with the incubation period for the flu, which is one to four days. Speaking of the flu, the coronavirus outbreak, may have gone undetected for these first few months, because it was being mistaken for a bad influenza season. In Washington, where we now know there has been an active coronavirus outbreak for months, the State Department of Health published statistics about hospital visits for flu-like symptoms when the outbreak began. The charts show how this year, there has been an unusual number of people who experienced flu-like symptoms, but did not test positive for the flu. In Figure 9, 
It shows the percentage of people who have tested positive for influenza since February 2015 to February 2020, while in figure 10, shows the percentage of influenza-like illness cases since that calendar year, where there was a negative result on the flu test. In figure 9, it shows a relatively normal flu season, if not, a relatively mild one, but in figure 10, shows cases of a mysterious flu-like illness. Way above the epidemic threshold, as this was unfolding, the corrupted governments in China, Iran, and Italy, some of the areas worst hit by the outbreak, were telling the people, that the situation was under control, and that the virus, was not something that they should have been worrying about. While in Iran, people were becoming less confident with those claims, as multiple members of the corrupt government were becoming sick themselves with the illness. In Italy, Governor Attilio Fontana was quarantined after coming into contact with an infected staff member, and the Pope cancelled all of his appearances after falling ill with an ill-like sickness that the corrupted Vatican refuses to disclose. The governments of Japan and South Korea appear to be somewhat more honest with the people in this matter and seem to be testing more thoroughly. The now 45th United States President, Donald John Trump, had claimed that the country is in great shape for the coming pandemic, but has provided the American people with very little of substance during his recent press conferences on the subject. Aside from assurances that everything is going to be just fine, the Trump administration is attempting to control the flow of information about the virus to keep the people optimistic, just as the corrupt governments of China and Iran, are doing. But this approach, will be putting the people in grave danger, just as the administrations of the previous century of World War I did, during the Spanish flu outbreak. In order to understand the seriousness of a situation, people need to know about the high rates of mortality and hospitalization for this and any other future viruses. Furthermore, to adequately protect themselves, people need to know that this virus has a significantly longer incubation period and is much easier to catch than the seasonal influenza flu. These are established findings that should be at the front of every news bulletin and press conference, but they are being left to the footnotes and entirely ignored. Adequate testing and reporting should have started months ago, but sadly, the corrupted people who would kill anyone to keep their power and control over many, and those who have appointed themselves as leaders, are actually holding all of us back, instead of helping all of us as a whole, to all corrupted governments from all over our planet Earth. Do the right thing, and tell the people, on what we are actually dealing with. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect. Us.